You may wonder why I'm looking up at this wooden construction in the trees and even curious about where it is. Well, this is a treehouse, or at least what I call a treehouse, in the back corner of my garden. The national lockdown is still in place due to the Covid restrictions and instead of being able to venture out to the hills and woodlands for an overnight camp, I'm going to take some time out in my treehouse. It stands here in between tall pine trees. When I built it about 15 years ago, I didn't want to interfere with the trees, so I built it as a standalone little house up in the trees. I used the space underneath as a wood and general material store. Up above, most of the time, the window holes are boarded up. Hi, I'm Warren Brand. Please join me for beer in my treehouse. Let's climb the ladder and get inside. It's a bit tidier now. I had a good clean up a few days ago. start the evening off uh, with a King Goblin 6.6 .6. can't get out on the hills but I can get up in the tree in my tree house. Let's set to work with getting a little bit of this organized. I bought this transit, this is the larger one, um, to go into railing back in the day. It's getting an outing tonight because the frying pan is just a little bit bigger and a bit more usable. Keeping it a little bit simple this evening, uh, got some taggy telly which I'll put on first, a couple of little bally things of that and uh, to go with that I've got some mushroom and bacon which I'll uh, stir uh, to follow and uh, a cheese topping and I've got a, a bit of uh, mayonnaise to go on top of, of all of that as well. Uh. 
Well, I think it's about time to get the mushrooms in. Oh, lovely. Let them go. Hopefully, the tagliatelle is hanging in there okay. Yeah, it's not going anywhere. Gloopy mess. Time for another bit of beer. Mm. Just looking forward to the springtime when hopefully, hopefully, March, we can get out. And for me, I can get on doing some serious walking again, find some mountains, go for some longer walks, do some wild camps, and just get out there. I think this is coming together rather nicely. Right, let's get that on the side. Let's get this back up to temperature. Cheers. This larger trangia is a bit of an overkill, um, a bit large for just one meal, one person meal. But the extra capacity is always beneficial. Right, combining time. I have some grated cheese ready to roll. idea is get that all together in the middle get the tagliatelle around the outside and then Add the cheese. Oh, yes. Hopefully, with a little bit of luck, it'll all melt down nicely together. Now I know some people will comment about whether it's tomato sauce, brown sauce, mayonnaise. I've gone for the mayonnaise this time. Well, let's tuck in. What is this like? Mmm. My goodness, it's very good, very good, good treehouse food, oh, mm. I don't see the use of um, the full trangia, traditional trangia set up in YouTube these days very much. Uh, people don't talk about them. I've had this set for 30, 35 years. And uh, it's my go-to set. It's the only set I've got. Mm. I've got this one in the... Uh, 
the 27, the smaller one. I've had the 27 a couple of years longer than, than this one. But they both go back to the mid 80s. I'll tell you, I'm just up in my tree house this evening. But if I had this on the top of a mountain, I would be really pleased. There's no wind chill factor here, so uh, the food's staying hot on top as well as underneath. And the cheese has melted. I wouldn't think of taking cheese on to the top of Ingleborough or Penny Fan. It would blow away not melt. Mm. You don't need to see me hoover up all my tagliatelle, bacon and mushroom feast. So I'll get back to you in a few minutes. Cheers. That was a lovely feast. I think uh, before I have another beer, I've got one beer left. I think it's time for a coffee. So a bit of an overkill uh, with the size of this teapot, but it's the one I've got going at the moment. So let's dive in. And make a coffee. Bit of a cheat really with this uh, two-in-one but uh, never mind well I'll enjoy a, a coffee just in a few moments but to follow I've got a bit of a treat uh, I've got some almond slices and some custard there's rather a lot there I haven't really uh, burnt off the energy uh, in my tree house today. Uh, normally I'd have a good good half a packet of that and a whole load of uh, custard, but uh, I've been rather lazy today. So we'll see how we go. Oh, Jimmy too. <laughs> okay, Warren is in the house. Uh, Lindy's 360. Yeah. I missed the start of your session, sorry. Now in my treehouse, just filmed a meal making session. No idea if it's any good. The grub was yummy, a few beers too. So, Warren is uh, Lindley's 360, who I believe is currently doing a uh, wild camp in his garden, but in his uh, children's treehouse from, from years past, I think. So, uh, there'll be a good test of its structural integrity. Did you build it, Warren? That's my question. Oh, I love those tree houses that you see. Yeah. yeah I mean, they must have lent it to you. Mr. and Mrs. CLB are doing yeah. a live a live session John tonight. Right on says, thanks for the great videos. You're welcome. My pleasure. He's doing well. Oh, a lot of tents. Oh. So Lindy, 360. Yeah, built it years ago for the kids. Never really used it. Oh, hopefully grandchildren camping out in it. Oh, yeah. oh brilliant. <laughs> Lindy's welcome. Jimmy. Jimmy, sorry, Jimmy, I'm awful names. Uh, no drink for me tonight. Up early. Oh, oh look, Willow Brand said hello, Jenny and Pete. There you go. Thank you. Uh, now, my f Warren said, my first set of gear dates back to the mid 80s, Newcastle days, Lake District and all around. Yeah.
snuggled up in my treehouse. Good morning YouTube. First night in my little tree house. And what a pleasant experience it was. I woke up during the night a couple of times and latterly there's been some rain. And quite a lot of bird song just now too. But otherwise hardly a sound. Time to get up, pack up my gear, and get some breakfast on. I'll catch up with you in a few minutes. Well, it's probably time to get the kettle on. So, what goodies have we got here? Cajun milk to go with my porridge. Porridge, here we come. Let that uh, sort itself out for a bit. Well, I built this tree house, oh, years ago, for the kids to play in. Uh, used it a bit during the summer months, but uh, not a great deal, sadly. Probably took too long to build it, started it too late, the kids were too old, I don't know. Other interests. But the idea was that uh, it was big enough to have a couple of people up here. Uh, I didn't envisage at the time having a table. This is a, a more recent addition. Uh, but with the windows and enough space, long enough to lie down in, just like a, a real little outdoor, indoor house. Lucky enough to have a little bit of space in the end of the garden with a couple of pine trees, although it's based on um, four columns that are completely independent of trees uh, for four vertical corners on concrete posts. Over the last few years, it got quite uh, leaf blown and bits. So I spent quite a bit of time tidying some of that up. I'll, uh, I'll show you some of the clips now. Last winter, um, this end panel had, had blown away um, and had fallen in. So a lot of the leaf rubbish and, and general winter muck had blown its way in. 
Next, do the little trick. These are really a little bit large, but I do rather like just the extra little bit of creamy milk. Now I have ideas to have another go at this uh, treehouse camp, but to upgrade the interior slightly, whether I will get around to or not, uh, maybe a lick of paint, some furnishings, uh, a lamp. Not sure I can get a large comfortable chair up through the hatchway, so I might have to resort to uh, something different. Wonder what I could do to brighten this place up. Maybe even a picture on the wall. Some ornaments. I think we need a bit more of a stock of beer though as well. Hard to say what uh, 2021 will see in terms of treks and walks for the Linless channel. Hopefully we'll be able to get out very soon. Um, mountains, hills, woodland, walks, visiting places. Back to the Peak District, Yorkshire Dales, North Yorkshire Moors, not been there for a very long time. Lake District, Brackens, North Wales. Dartmoor, not been to Dartmoor for very, very many years. Well, I'm not sure what to call this video this time. Can't call it uh, wild camping, nor can I call it um, stealth camping or anything like that so something treehouse treehouse timeout timeout in my treehouse who knows well time I think to pack up tidy up and take the long trek back home all of a few meters that way my little adventure has been fun and since I've never slept out here before, long overdue. Please swipe or scroll and click like if you've enjoyed this video. Every little click helps the channel. Thanks for watching and bye for now.